launched its fifth gen Ryzen 7000 series CPUs last September to critical acclaim with hugely improved performance over their predecessors. However, following strong competition from Intel's 13th gen core processors, AMD is back with a range of new and improved Ryzen's. Keep watching to find out how AMD's new CPUs perform and how to upgrade your existing PC or buy a next gen 3XS systems gaming PC with one of these processors. The three new CPUs are the 7950X3D, the 7900X3D and the 7800X3D, sharing the same Zen 4 architecture as other Ryzen 7000s. This means they benefit from all the same goodies including DDR5 and PCIe5, and they even work in the same AM5 motherboards after a BIOS update. What is different though, and this should be apparent from the 3D name extension, is the addition of 3D vCache memory. This is essentially a huge extra wadge of SRAM that acts as an extension of the on-die level 3 cache. For instance, the flagship 7950X3D has a whopping 128 megabytes of level 3 cache versus just 64 for the standard 7950X. Cache memory plays an incredibly important role in CPU performance as it's much, much faster than system memory and is used to temporarily store frequently used data. There is a downside, however, in that cache memory is expensive to produce and takes up a lot of space on the CPU die. So as much as we'd like them to, CPU designers aren't at liberty to throw on hundreds of megabytes of cache memory. AMD's clever solution to this problem, though, is 3D vCache, whereby the extra SRAM is mounted on a separate die stacked on top of the CPU die above where the existing level 3 cache is located and connected via a bi-directional ring bus. This isn't the first time that AMD has added 3D vCache to a range of existing CPUs to increase performance. First out of the gates were some truly incredible epic CPUs last year, plus the plucky little Ryzen 7 5800X3D, the latter proving much faster in games than standard Ryzen's. However, all of these previous CPUs had a drawback in that their base and turbo clocks were a fair bit lower than standard CPUs, limiting their performance in some software. This time around, AMD has given this aspect of 3D vCache processor design some much needed TLC, and as a result, the clock speeds are much improved. This has been achieved in the 7950X3D and 7900X3D by using an asymmetric chiplet design featuring a standard CCX and a second CCX with the 3D vCache. This enables the standard CCX to run at higher clock speeds, improving performance in lightly threaded software. Whilst the base clocks are still a bit lower than the standard CPUs, you're now looking at a 200MHz drop on most X3D CPUs versus 400MHz on the 5800X3D. Meanwhile, the boost clocks are exactly the same, and this bodes very well for the new X3D processors. So without further ado, let's get cracking with the benchmarks. We benchmarked the new AMD Ryzen 7950X3D CPU up against existing Ryzen 7000s plus equivalently positioned Intel 13th Gen Core CPUs. Now, unfortunately, we haven't included the results of the 7900X3D as it had some performance issues and we weren't able to get hold of a 7800X3D in time to include that either. To make the comparisons as fair as possible, all of the systems were tested in a very similar configuration with the same cooler, graphics card and the same amount of RAM. And all the testing was conducted in Windows 11 Home with the latest drivers and BIOSes. Cinebench R23 is based on a popular modeling, animation and rendering application Cinema 4D. And this test renders a complex scene on a single thread. Now, whilst you'd never deliberately choose to only render using a single thread, this is an interesting test as it reveals the raw performance difference between the various CPU architectures. Whilst the first consumer CPU with 3D vCache memory was a good deal slower than standard CPUs, there's very little difference between the 7950X3D and the 7950X. The next Cinebench test we ran renders the same scene as the previous test, but now on all available threads. So it generally favors CPUs with lots of cores and threads. Now, whilst there's a quantifiable performance difference between the 7950X3D and the 7950X of 6%, this is still much closer than previous gen CPUs with 3D vCache. The next test, Blender, is a popular 3D rendering application that runs on all of the CPU cores and threads. This graph shows the number of seconds taken to render the scene, so a smaller number means faster rendering. 
After seeing the multi-threaded Cinebench results, it's no surprise to see a small, just 4% drop in performance between the 7950X3D and 7950X. After seeing the significant increase in single-threaded rendering speed of the new 13th gen core CPUs in Cinebench, we were keen to see how the new processors perform in games. In the first game, we benchmarked Modern Warfare 2. All the CPUs proved to have very similar performance, although the 7950X3D did manage to take pole place. It's a hollow victory, really. Metro Exodus also showed a bit more of a difference between the CPUs with AMD leading the charge, although this narrows to next to nothing at 1440p and above. We also benchmarked the RPG Cyberpunk 2077. With its more demanding open world environments, this showed more of a performance difference between the various CPUs than Modern Warfare 2 or Metro. AMD managed to take the crown here with the 7950X3D demonstrating particularly good performance at 1080p. We also benchmarked Far Cry 6 and just like Cyberpunk 2077, the open world nature of this game puts more strain on the CPU than traditional corridor shooters with the 7950X3D exhibiting particularly good performance. The last game we benchmarked, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, showed the biggest difference of all, with the 7950X3D nearly hitting 300 FPS at 1080p. Now this is more the sort of speed you'd expect to see from a GPU, not a CPU, and it's pretty incredible really. To round off the game testing, we also ran the popular synthetic benchmark 3D Mark Time Spy on all of the CPUs. In this test, Intel's CPUs perform best, just going to show that what you're running is just as important as what hardware you're running it on. We'd advise taking these results with a pinch of salt either way, as 3D Mark is a synthetic test rather than a real game. Despite the addition to 3D vCache, the X3D CPUs consume a bit less power than the equivalent X CPU, a good thing for the planet and your electricity bill. Well done, AMD. The last few years have seen fierce competition between AMD and Intel as they both strive to outdo each other with new and improved CPUs. AMD's latest trio of new Ryzen 7000 X3Ds enhanced with 3D vCache that more or less triples the size of the level 3 cache. Although we weren't able to test all three X3D CPUs in this video, the results of the flagship model, the 7950X3D, are very promising indeed. For gamers, there's really no reason not to pick an X3D CPU over an X, as they're noticeably faster in some games and consume less power. We'd also seriously recommend picking an X3D CPU if you also dabble in content creation workloads, such as video editing or 3D modeling on your PC. The only area in which we have some concern is a professional graphics or video workstation, as a small performance drop here makes an X CPU a better choice. However, for consumers, an X3D CPU is definitely the way to go. Follow the links in the description below to head over to the SCAN website to pick your Ryzen X3D CPU, motherboard, cooler and memory. Alternatively, why not check out our range of professionally built PCs from our award-winning 3XS systems team. They've created a huge new range of pre-configured gaming PCs or can custom build one to your preferred specs. Get in touch with the 3XS systems team today using the links below.